or welcome back to the channel. So today we are, first of all, talking about my face, Lord, like y'all, sis, bruh, look at my face, like I've been breaking out. If you guys have been breaking out, let me know in the comment section below, but I've been breaking out really, really bad. I am going to be doing a new treatment on my face. Like, oh my gosh, look at these dark marks. My face has never been this bad. Like, these little fine bumps and stuff. My nose has been itching. Um, and, you guys. But I found a new, like, serum that I can use. Um, and I want to see how that works. I'm not trying to be that girl. None of that it girl stuff. But I'm just trying to get my face back together. Because I am not used to my face with these pigmentations and stuff like that. And, oh my gosh. This is crazy. Um, and I think I know what happened. And I, whenever I go get my eyebrows arched or whenever I go get my eyebrows done, um, they use some kind of oil stuff or alcohol in my face. And um, so that um, it wipes away the germs or whatever. But every time I get my eyebrows done, I always tell them to let me see the tools that they're using because I want to know if they're uh new or what um and the one i go to they always use like new tools all the time they come out straight out the package so um what she does is she pretty much um because nobody knows what whoever has something at the manufactory and pass it on um in the tools that she used so she goes in with some alcohol to clean the tools and i watch her and then um she just start doing my eyebrows and I think part of the reason is because she used some alcohol. Alcohol in my face don't get along. Like, don't get along. So, my eyebrows up here, they were really, really raw. Like, you guys, before, like, oh my gosh, they were really raw. They was hurting so bad. Um, and, yeah. So, they healed up because I was using my Neutrogena. And um, they just went ahead and healed up. But I'm just steady waiting for all this, the bumps and stuff. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, ridiculous for real. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> I have a um, hygiene, minimal hygiene haul for you guys today. Um, and it is a Target's haul. And I went to Target's and just bought some hygiene stuff that I needed. Um, and like I say, it's minimal. Um, I didn't buy a lot of hygiene products, but I bought what we needed. Um, and then I needed more like personal items. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that time of the month. Yes, yeah, Lady Nature coming through. She's already then came through. So, um, oh well, she's through. Well, she came through and she's sticking around. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got here. And then I want to go ahead and throw in a Walmart haul as well. It's just, you know, minimal. We had to get some stuff for the house. And I wanted to share with you guys what I got um, and all that good stuff. So stick around. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. And then also turn on all post notifications because if you don't, then you won't get any uploads, um, any notification that I've uploaded um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, yeah, you guys, let's get right into this Target's haul really quick. And this is a hygiene. Everything's minimal, so it's a hygiene haul. And then we're going to go straight into our Walmart grocery haul as well. <laughs> so, for hygiene stuff, um, as far as, like, my lady monthly, um, which is my period, girl, I am so obsessed. I am so obsessed with the honey pot. I love Honey Pot. I mean, like, I just love anything Honey Pot now. Like, my sister, she have a lot of Honey Pot stuff. And I was just like, girl. And then when I found went to Marshall's and found that Honey Pot on sale on clearance, you guys. Let me see if I still got it. Um, here it is. Um, I found these on, like, clearance. They were, like, $3 at Marshall's. They were before Christmas. And I got those. And I was asked my sister, what is the difference between them? And so um, the other night, I definitely went ahead and started reading. But I love the fact when the blood drops on the pad. I know it's too much TMI, but this is, you know, natural. This is 
for the ladies out there, for my sis out there. Guys, if you want to hear it, definitely close your ears, but don't stop watching, okay? So, it's just a menstrual, um, a menstrual pad. And the fact that it has, like, herbal-infused, um, like, mint, lavender, and aloe in it inside the pad so let me explain this to you whenever you um are on your period um and you start to bleed on your pad that feeling of the mint the lavender oil uh, aloe you can feel it on your lady your vagina your vajayjay you can feel that freshness you can feel that like minty feel, like minty feeling on your vajayjay and it feels so good like if you have bad bloat or if your vagina like kind of swells up during menstrual um that right there the mint and the lavender and the aloe will soothe um those lady you know your lady part your lady parts down um so this one right here um it always have like the little you know how much it can handle so this one right here was really good it's a super um, and then I use this towards nighttime and then I actually found one that I can use during the daytime and this is more for a uh, heavy flow daytime pads um, and then also this has mint and lavender aloe so like I said whenever your blood drops in your from your vagina to the pad it automatically activate the mint the lavender and aloe to your your coochie parts <laughs> girl and it feels so good like Oh my gosh, my boyfriend, I was like, you get a kick out of that. Like, honey, it feels really good to your vagina. Um, so I did um, get some, um, I wanted to go a little deeper into Honey Pot and get some more of their products because I love the fact, um, I love the fact that they are, um, what I was about to say. Oh, I love the fact that they are uh, animal cruelty free. And then they have oils in them. So that's all natural products. Um, and then um, also they just, you know, absorb really, 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 really good. They're comfortable. They're soft. They're breathable. They're pesticide free. They're chlorine free. And most of all, I love products that the gynecologist has already uh, tested it and may love it. Um, so I just love that. Um and then I love the fact that they have like these little things at the bottom of it says, <laughs> make peace with your period. You got girls, y'all know we, every month we cannot make peace with our periods. Also, I want to say, even though this is for your menstrual period, if you are someone out there that's having hot flashes and stuff like that, or if you're having just those days where you can't control your, your pee pee, these are good for to catch that. But I wouldn't say pee in it. But they still also soothe and they don't have like if you actually ain't pee in it, don't worry about the stench or the smell, ladies, because it has remember it has the mint, the lavender and the aloe. So that's going to take care of all that. Um, and then if you need some extra scent protection, get yourself some of these honey pot, normal wipes, um, intimate parts, body part. Uh, you can use them on your intimate parts, body and face. Um, and these are plant-based feminine care. Your uh, remember that your um, your pads are uh, plant-based as well. So I love all this stuff, you guys. This is just my favorite. Um, so this one has um, these wipes have lavender, aloe, and lemon peel in them. So that's really cool. Um, but also remember that these are non-flushable, uh, um, but they're they are composable, so you can. Uh, recycle them which is really good and then I went ahead and it got some I don't know what happened to the top but I got some of the honey pot um, plant uh, based feminine uh, lady parts down there uh, panty spray um, and this is in the uh, fragrance of Burmite rose and then um, I just honestly because it is uh, hypoallergenic uh, cruelty free and refresh restore revive um, and it is animal cruelty free. Anything honey pot is animal cruelty free. I love it. So this has inside of it, Vermont, aloe, and rose. Um, and then there's the little cruelty free signature. I just honestly love it. It smells really good. So if you're in Target, Walmart, um, I think 
that CVS Pharmacy sells it, either Walgreens, Family Dollar. I don't, I don't know if they do sell it, Family Dollar or Dollar General. But Marshalls does sell uh, Honey Pot products, and I'm not sure if Ross sell it. But if you're in the area of Target and Walmart, you're for sure to grab some of this stuff. They are not expensive, you guys. I bought this um, this spray right here for like four bucks, you guys, and these were like four bucks, and I think these were like set six or seven. Not sure, but Target's had a sale. Like if you buy three, you get like a five dollar gift card. So I'm not sure if that sell is still on. I didn't opt into that. Um, that little, you know, but it's only for your pets. Um, so I did get three things, but they didn't uh, qualify because it was just for the pads. So yeah, these are the heavy ones. So if your period is heavy as like mine, especially when my period comes the first day, it hits. It is heavy. And if you have like little clots coming out, y'all know what I'm talking about, sis. If you have like little clots coming out, these will hold that up. And like I say, if you have a period and it's heavy and you know it smells, um, sometimes those regular pads don't hold up. And some of those times those regular pads don't have scent in them. Um, but the fact that these have like natural oils in them um, and that right there, that's why I changed <laughs> I changed my my period pad because I do have heavier per periods and sometimes like if I can smell my period you guys that's that you know what I mean so um we don't want to do that no more we don't want to smell our periods um so um I just enjoy honey pot the honey pot um you can actually find these on Amazon too um, and they come in like all kind of range, like all kinds, like if you're light, you're heavy, you need one during the day, like I have, um, and your flow is medium, you can do that too as well. Um, and I know I'm talking a lot about honey pot, but, um, I just want you guys to know that, um, honey pot is like a great, um, product to use when you're on your, um, your, um, menstrual cycle. Uh, also I found this uh off brand targets up and up brand of the light fresh scent feminine wash for all skin types and it's compared to the um visual odor block daily intimate wash um so i got that too as well it's my favorite for now um but i did get this um just because it's off brand don't mean it doesn't work this right here smells just like the one in the bottle and it has the same texture as the one in the bottle as well. And it gets you clean. Like it, like down there, girl, my vagina, my coochie smells so good. So when I am on my menstrual, just a little, you know, tea, like, you know, little talk girls. Um, I go in with my, my, um, my little feminine wash. And this is only for my feminine, this is only for my vagina. I don't use it on my body or anything like that. I want my vagina to smell really good. My boyfriend always tell me like, babe, you don't stink down there. You on your, your uh, period, but you don't even stink. And I'm like, hell no, nah, no snake. You don't stink. Uh, but um, before all this, I, you know, I do a lot of research and stuff like that on how to keep my vagina smelling good. So I go in with my vagina wash, my coochie wash, and then I'll wipe my coochie down with uh, the honey pot cleanse and wipe um because like i say it feels really good i'm not gonna put this on my face and i definitely won't put this on my body it'll be only for my coochie um and then i got the honey pot burn my rose panty spray so this goes in my panties and i turn on the fan in my room and i get my panties dry because you can't just put these put this on your skin but just put it on your panties and or in a dryer or just let it air dry air dry is best um, and just cut on a fan in your house and let your panties dry. But this smells really good on your panties. So you got that extra, that extra, extra scent going on. You're clean. Um, and you don't have nothing to worry about. Um, and so after y'all do put that scent on my panties, I put my panties on, line it up with my, um, my honey pot panty liner. And that's it, girl, girl. So, um, that's how we doing. That's how we keep our coochie in 2023 smelling good and even looking good, sis. So, anyways, <laughs> let's go over here to the other stuff that I bought from Target. Just some, you know, um, 
body wash and stuff like that. So I am going to be like into since I, you know, love this whole minimal lifestyle. I've decided to go into like, you know, just good stuff for my body. Um, and I'm just looking out for me and my body. Um, and I just I want to smell good. I'm going to look good, feel good and be good. You know what I'm saying? So I was researching this raw sugar deodorant. Um, and I love the fact that it has so many great things about it. So it says it's free of, well, let, let me see y'all. Y'all know I wear glasses. Free of aluminum, baking soda, uh, talic, provian, and um, propylene glycol. Y'all see that. <laughs> and then also it's allergy tested and then biodegradable packaging, naturally uh, driven in ingredients. And um, basically, let me just read this to you really quick. If I can see it, how to use eco tube, remove cap, push up from the bottom, hold tube snook to keep the uh, duo stick in place while applying. Um, use cap to push the stick back down. Use daily under arms or on body. Move free. So that's cool. So you can put this on your body too as well. But this is only made for my underarms. I would not be putting this on my body. But this is in the scent of beach rose plus aloe. Um, and I just love it. It's cold press. Soper. Um, CAL, I guess Cal, California technology. Um, so yeah, I just really like, and then it also is animal cruelty free and vegan. And I put some on today. Let's see what, so let me not, let's see what it looks like, but let me show you what it looks like. I just shaved that in my arms, you guys, and everything. So I might have a little hair on it, but I used it already. You just got to stick your finger in the bottom, push it up, push up here. Keep your finger in there while you're putting the deodorant on. And yeah, that's the deodorant. Um, so I'm just really testing it out and see because you guys know I cannot use certain type of deodorants. But this smells really, really good. So if you're in Target, definitely pick that up. For my birthday, let me move these out of the way because I want to show you guys for my birthday. Um, what my sister got me. It's like a whole pack of stuff she got me and she know i love hygiene products and i like to look, look good smell good um and i'm i mean extra smell good um especially when i take my showers and stuff my baths so she got me this beloved uh lavender and camille teas bath foam so whenever i do my my little uh bath videos and stuff like that i'll definitely be this will be the first thing i use Babe did buy me some more bath bombs. I think I showed you guys already my birthday stuff that I got. Um, and then she got me some Dr. Till's Pink Himalaya Sea Salt a Scrub. This restore and replenish and with pure Epsom and essential oils. It's got Burma and sweet orange essential oils to soothe the scents. And I honestly start loving Dr. Till's a lot, you guys. Like, I start loving it a lot because it's really good for your body and then she bought me i think for my birthday she bought me like a little mini kit i think i have it in the bathtub if you guys see it's right there and yeah she bought me like a little mini one too as well and then um she bought me another tree hut strawberry she has sugar scrub which i already have one um this is for hydrating youthful looking uh skin or should i say that one more time for hydrated, youthful, youthful looking skin <laughs> made with uh, shea butter, uh, strawberry, and beta hyaluronic acid. Um, I didn't even know it had hyaluronic acid in it. But um, yeah, she bought me another one of those because, girl, I use it a lot and I'm running out. And then I got some of this Burst Bee Refreshing Sheet Mask with Cucumber. It says it balances skin's pH for soft, hydrate, hydrated skin. Um, so, yeah, I, she got me one of those. And I'm really trying to get my skin together. So, I may use this before I start using my little... Um, it's not a chemical peel, you guys, or anything like that. It's just like a, a, a nice little uh, serum that I've um, had to go and get some stuff done to my face just to get that serum. But anyways, 
um i got this it says okay aloe vera foot pill with peach extract exfoliates and remove dead skin mask um it's a mask for your feet it says four to six day pill four to six day pill so i guess you put these on your feet um i don't know how would you use this it says four to six day pill so one you would just clean your feet to dry it then you put your feet inside of some type of bag put the oils in there or some water or whatever and then you would sit with this bag on for one to one and a half hours and then wash it off. So I'm going to have to figure out, like, this is going to be have to be on the off day. So it's against animal testing, which is cool. And it is suitable for vegans, you guys. So that's really nice. Um, let's see what it says. Yeah. So, yeah, we can try that. So on one of my little days that I am off, I'm going to just go ahead and try that. It seems like it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to do it. So those are the things my sister got me for my birthday. I just want to include that in there. All this stuff came from Target, you guys. So this really fits the script. This stuff I got by myself um, and this stuff I got for my birthday for my sister. So, like I said, all this stuff is from Target. So, you can find this at Target. Um, and everything else from Target, too, as well. So, I got this this new body um, wash. It says Soothing Body Wash. Uh, Sulfate Free. 100% Natural Fragrance. This is in the fragrance of Sweet Oil and Cucumber. And it's Odell. And so, I got this one. Me and Babe's going to try these together because I'm not sure how um, he's going to like this. So, it is vegan, not tested on animals, dermatologist tested, um, no synthetic favorite, favorites. Sorry, you guys. And it says, clean beauty for you, your people, plus your people. Best for skins that's dry, carbonation, and dull and sensitive, which I do have. Um, and then I think I just read those to you guys, but that's that one. And then this one is for, um, this has, wait, wait a minute. Okay. I think I'm okay. So this, this one, I think I, I'm reading it too fast. So this one has, um, this is moisturizing body wash, a hydrating clean with vitamin B complex. And then this one's a grapefruit and orange peel. So that's that one. And then this one is the sweet aloe and cucumber. This one. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so I think both of these are the same. No. Okay, so the one that that's this one, the sweet oil and cucumber one. It's for dry skin, combination skin, um, itchy skin, or sensitive skin. And I'm all that because my skin be itching. Um, and so, yeah, those two is for that. And then that's the name of the brand Odin. So we're going to try that out, me and babe. And so um, then I got more Dr. Tills. Actually, this is part of my sister's birthday this yeah I, I was trying to figure out so i got more dr tills from uh forming a bath with pure edmund salt um this is soothe and sleep with lavender helps promote a better night's sleep nourish your skin long lasting bubbles gentle cleanse and this is the 34 ounce bottle so i got more of that i'm not a big fan of lavender but if it's dr tills it's fine <laughs> uh so the next thing I got for the bathroom, because whenever I'm taking a bath or I'm taking a shower, I want the bathroom to smell really nice. So I went ahead and got these um, infusible um, stick things, and it's in the scent of ginger black tea with the notes of uh, cardamom, lemon, tea leaves, and wood. Um, it says automatic reeve diffuser. Include five fibrous uh, reeds. So that's what that is. Yeah. And this is from Threshold from Target. So that's the end of the Target's haul, you guys. 
wait just a minute because we gotta go get into this uh walmart haul really quick so i'll be just a minute really quick you guys i have to run back upstairs and show you guys what else i got um from target just something really quick i got this pretty brown dress like i love this color you guys my colors um and i'm just changing my whole wardrobe up it's gonna be brown um like green gray or black um those are my colors so i'm gonna be changing up a lot of things i'm gonna look cute like i say 2023 it's gonna be my year and it is my year and um i've been manifesting and you know god has been he's been blessing me you guys like blessing me and all this stuff i work for so i'm gonna splurge this year um I'm going to splurge this year, and I'm going to keep myself up, keep my nails done, you guys, because I did get my nails done for my birthday. I don't think I showed you guys that I got my nails done. I look white on camera. I don't know why they're looking like that, but yeah, but anyways, um, babe got me this ring, so I'm just really feeling myself, you guys, because it's real. <laughs> Me and babe, we're real. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I got this dress for $18, which I'm not complaining about because you guys, I love anything Tarjay. But this is like a square neck spaghetti strap uh, dress. You can dress it up or down, wear you some heels, wear you some flats, wear you some, you know, some sh some Nikes with this, um, some trainers. Um, but this has like a slit in it, so a little split, so it ain't too bad. Um, but yeah, I bought me a little, a uh, nice bodycon dress. I'm about to start working this belly out, y'all, cause girl, sis, bruh. <laughs> so anyways, I did buy me some more pants. You guys, I'm in size 14. Thank the Lord. Yes. And these fit so good. Um, before I was in the 16 came down to a 14 so i'm doing pretty good really good um so i got these a new pair of pants to wear out with babe because i really didn't have any pants that i can wear i got a whole closet for full of pants let me just walk over here excuse this miss that's babe um so focus please there you go so this is my part of the closet and yes, I, I said I didn't have any pants, but these pants right here are not fittable at all. Um, and me and babe was going out to eat breakfast and Lily, he can tell you, I tried to fit in all these pants and honey, only pants that really fit was these. And these are, I think these are, uh, fashion Nova. These are the mom jeans and they're ripped. And then... What else? What else pants? These pants too. They're mom jeans. They're ripped. Um, but everything else, you guys, they were so tight. I also, oh yeah, also I can fit these. So I'm gonna we're gonna go through my closet together and we're going minimalist. Like we're we're going minimalist. And I'm just gonna have at least five pair of jeans that I can fit into. The rest of them, they're they will be like donated. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um the rest of the stuff that I got from Targets. I did get a little bit more stuff, but I'm gonna do that in another haul, you guys. So we're gonna go downstairs. So this is our minimalist um, Walmart haul here. Um, and then I did grab two more things of water because mom said that I need to start um, getting more water. Um, there's, I don't know what's going on, but I just grabbed two more. We do have an extra one down there. And so I'm just going to put these over there. So I just want to show you the water um, because I know sometimes I forget to show you guys the water. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of this and sit on the cabinet and then um, take it out the bags and stuff. And then uh, we'll get into the Walmart haul. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened to my little tag thing that I always show you guys. But this was on the bag without anything on it. So, yeah, January 19th. Um, this is when I got my Walmart delivery. 
So, anyways, let's go to the snacks, you guys, because I really don't buy a lot of snacks. These are our snacks here. We got some munchies, party size. This is the cheese fix one. I got my favorite Lay's barbecue, honey barbecue. These are bomb. These are my favorite. Um, these are for babe. These are for me. Um, and then, because I love my baby, I got him this heart Reese's. He said I never get him anything like as far as candy wise from a Walmart. So. I went ahead and got him that, which I thought it was really cute. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's okay. It's it's just right. He can he can have that. I got some Austin peanut butter on cheese sandwich crackers um, for my work because, girl, I told y'all I work in the food industry and I am trying not to eat any of that bad food. Okay. Um, and honestly, I haven't been eating any of that bad food. So, um. I've been taking my, trying to take my lunch, and I've been um, packing, like, my sandwiches and stuff like that. So, I'm proud of myself, y'all. I'm trying to lose this weight. Like, every time I put on, my, like, in my mind, I'm losing 10 pounds. When I lose that 10 pounds, I'm losing another 10 pounds. I'm supposed to lose in all, you guys, in all. This is what I got from my doctor. Right now, I'm supposed to lose at least 60 pounds, you guys. So... I just put it in my mind, I'm losing 10 pounds. And when I lose that 10 pounds, like I said, again, then I feel really good about that. And then I tell myself, I'll lose another 10 pounds. And when I lose that pound, you know, so this is my first, like, like I said, I was in a size 16 pants. Now I'm in a 14. So I'm just really happy with the progress. Um, so I got these vanilla sandwich cream cookies um these are the walmart brand they're so good you guys and the lemon ones are good too as well but i haven't tried the oreo flavor kind i haven't tried those but these right here i'm going to take the cream out and then i'm going to make i'm going to use the cookie part and then i'm going to add it to some wa uh, vanilla waffles and you gir girl sis y'all already know bruh y'all already know it's about to go down with that vanilla pudding okay so i'm going to do it differently this time see how babe realize that I've done it differently. But yeah, that's for our snacks over there. Um, the other stuff that I got was some bread. Because I got some bread from, where is that? Kroger's. This bread, this honey wheat bread. Oh my gosh. it! I don't like to talk about food, you guys. Like, I really don't. But that Kroger's brand bread is trash. Literally. Because Babe said that it's disgusting. And when I tried it, it was trash so i feel bad that i did that i could have like put that out there for the birds but i feel like the birds is gonna like totally ignore that or run away from it stick their nose up and be like girl what's wrong with you <laughs> so i got that great value uh honey wheat bread which we love this is our favorite bake with love but this is our favorite bread from walmart uh again i have a family size vanilla instant pudding um and pie filling so we love this vanilla it tastes so good this pudding right here this mix right here i do go in and add a little bit more vanilla to make it a little bit stronger because the vanilla here is not real strong you guys so you can add more vanilla to make it stronger and that's when all puddings um um so uh we got some vanilla wafers these are the great value. I've tried these. Babe, me and Babe tried this, and they were really good. Gabe, uh, Gabe, Babe, um, y'all, I be watching too much Gabe and Babe TV. <laughs> I love them so much. I've been rocking with them since day one, you guys. So, and every time they put a, like bring out something, like I just got a notification that they had put out a video. I'm just like looking at it, and it's like Gabe, and I'm like Gabe. So, anyways, you guys, um, I've made the vanilla. Um, banana pudding without the bananas because girl I, I don't like bananas like that like literally if I have bananas it has to be in a smoothie something I cannot see <laughs> so babe loves the banana pudding that I minus the bananas he love it without the bananas too as well um so he tears it up y'all like it really he tears it up and so um, I got some of the individual Velveeta cheese packets. I love these because um, I don't really use a lot of Velveeta cheese. And just to get the big box of it, I would never use all that cheese. So I got this for like our, uh, tonight we're going to have nachos and wings. Um, or I might put the wings in the oven and let them bake off um, instead of frying them. 
probably yeah we're gonna have some baked wings and then we're gonna have some nachos so i got these for the nachos we're gonna, we're gonna make some rotel dip for the first time you guys i've never made rotel dip so um yeah i got this right here i got uh the mac and cheese in the back in the back in the back <laughs> i got the mac and cheese deluxe four cheese um and i wanted to get some name brand mac and cheese this time there's nothing wrong with um, great value, but they didn't have it. So I had to substitute it and I got the mac and cheese, Kraft mac and cheese. Uh, this has just uh, cheddar, parmesan, and Kobe and Harvardi cheese, but this is so freaking good. I was glad that I could substitute it to that. Um, and then I got some Hellman's because it's our favorite. Um, Dukes. I had to trash Dukes because, oh my gosh, Dukes is not all that. A lot of people been ratting raving about Dukes. I'm sorry if y'all love Dukes and I'm disrespecting Dukes. But at the end of the day, Dukes is blah, trash. <laughs> Hellman's, that's my that's my jam right there. Mayo, just regular mayonnaise. Mayo, I don't like that because it's too sweet. But Hellman's is just right for me. So we got that Rotel dip here. I got three cans of peaches because I'm going to make a peach cobbler. Attempt to make a peach cobbler, you guys. Um... And then my mom, work mom at work told me, uh, she's like everybody mom, but she's my mom. And so she told me like to do the one cup method, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, uh, cinnamon and vanilla, um, and then mix it all together. And that's how you make it the top paste of your peach cobbler. So I'm going to try that. Um, and she said, you can also add, uh, what she say? butter and something else to your mix put it in the pan your peaches in the pan all that stuff mix it all together and um it'll sweeten up and stuff like that so we'll try that i'm gonna do i'm gonna probably film it too as well um but anyways i got two of these mini made mango punch i opt to get the fruit punch because that's what we like but they didn't have it on deck so he since they didn't have it i got one free you guys he got me one free so thanks to the driver kudos to the driver um he was looking out so we got some mango punch we never tried this can't wait to try it then i got some of that great value whip topping that's for the vanilla uh vanilla banana pudding um and then i got some extra creamy whipped cream it can go like for our hot chocolates or it's gonna go um with our pudding as well because i like a lot of cream in our pudding then um we're getting down to the wire um if you made it this far, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, you guys. If y'all want to comment, go ahead and comment below. I love each and every one of you guys' comments that y'all send on the page, on the uh, the uh, video. Um, and I do reply back to each and every one of you guys. And if you guys are loving these whole minimal um, and minimalist vlogs, let me know in the comment section as well. Um, I did get some great value crinkle cut french fries, potatoes. I have to have my french fries because I think I'm running out. Yeah, we run out of fries. So, <laughs> what is this? Oh, chop shop, babe. Into the chop shop. But anyways, um, we got some Red Baron brick oven pressed cheese trio pizza. It has basically mozzarella and provolone cheese blended with parmesan cheese and parsley. But we have fell in love with the brick oven pizza from Red Baron's. It's been our favorite. I couldn't find the pepperoni one, so I just got that one. We'll add some pepperoni to it because I think we got some in the refrigerator from last time. Then I got some deli fresh honey uncured ham for babe. This is the Oscar Mayer. I did try to get some of the Kroger brand. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Like the off brand stuff at Kroger's, like some of it is hidden, you know, it's like a hidden miss. Then I got some Oscar Mayer deli fresh honey smoked turkey breast. This is mine. Love it. But babe been on this turkey kit with me too, as well. Um, so he's, I should have got two of those because he's been loving that. Then I got some honeysuckle white uh, ground turkey. This is 90%, uh, 93% lean, 7% fat, uh, no steroid hormones added, no growth promoted antibiotics. So we got some ground turkey. And that's it, you guys. That is all the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these hauls that I um, shared with you today. Um, make sure you go subscribe turn thumbs up and all that good stuff i gotta go because i gotta get this video out it's thursday so my video is gonna be a little late got off late so 
um tried to get to the house so i can get this walmart order then when it's definitely not sitting outside <laughs> um and then yeah but anyways you guys i love y'all and i'll see you in the next video bye